I learned how to cook when I was living in Lafayette based off of what I saw my parents do at home. You know, rice and gravy is like where I started. That's pretty much the foundation of any, any uh, Louisiana kitchen. I started cooking like in high school and stuff. I cooked for myself, but nothing more than eggs and toast. I never went beyond that. But when I really started to start a dish from scratch and build from a foundation upwards to a finished dish, it was probably um, 20, 21 years old when I started working in the restaurant industry. I uh, cooked a meatball stew, which was a dish uh, pretty common at my house during the winter time. First thing I do when I cook anything is always get my vegetables cut. Normally I like to go with about two onions for a gravy. The more onions the better. They create the foundation for any kind of, any kind of gravy you're going to make. I mean that's where the, the color comes from, that's where the flavor comes from. Bell peppers, normally I do a two to one ratio, two onions to one bell pepper. I'll use them more in making the meatballs than the actual gravy itself. Um, in the meantime, i uh, make the meatballs, which is a pound of ground beef with some of that chopped onion reserved, about half the bell pepper, one egg, some breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, and I'll use Bruno's Cajun seasoning from Iota. So to begin the dish, I'll take those meatballs and then brown them in the pot. Get them browned really well on every side. Um, when those meatballs are removed, that's whenever I add my onions and start to brown them up because you got all that good, that good uh, gradu at the bottom from the meatballs. I let my onions cook, like I said, for about 15 minutes with the bell pepper. Probably right about the same time I add the garlic, I'll put in the smoked sausage. Once all that's kind of spent time in the pot together, I'll go ahead and put the meatballs back in and just toss them around a little bit. I don't even know if it matters, but it just looks good and it smells good, so. Once that goes ahead and, and browns for a while, in this instance I used some beer, but something to deglaze, to kind of pull all that gradu off the bottom of the pot. Then I'll add about a few cups of water and that is the beginning of a gravy. After that, it's time to add the roux. I like to use jarred roux just because uh, making a roux takes a lot of time and jarred roux is just as good as, as anything I would make. I'd say about two tablespoons, three tops, and slowly working in the roux so it dissolves. You don't want to just throw it in all at once. Normally when we cook at home, we don't entertain too much, but it's always a great time to, to cook and then have people over. We always enjoy that. And another thing is it's, you know, you save a lot of Tupperware when you got people over, normally they're gonna clean the pot. So after about letting the meatball stew cook for around the hour, and in my family, and I'm sure it's the same across the board for any Cajun family, the way you fix a plate, rice is the first thing on your plate. Next is the gravy. And after that, to wherever else is on the stove. But those two, those two take the front seat: your rice and your gravy. 